I think I was a 12 kilo, I think at least one kilo drop on the floor. <laughs> no, I we got one kilo drop on the floor. I'm Xenia. Welcome to another episode of Hired or Fired. In this episode, I'm going to be a fish farmer for a day. This is like the continuation of the fishmonger episode, except we shot part two first. This one is part one. I'm guessing that today I'm required to be a bit more gung ho, and also maybe I need to know the territory in the sea. So that I know where to catch the fishes and know all the breeds. And maybe catch the fish, maybe then come back to the farm and then breed more. At this point, I'm just smoking through, so let's just meet our mentor now. Hi, I'm Marcus Ho, and uh, I'm part of the management team of uh, Prime Aquaculture. Mainly, I oversee the sea farm operations, which includes fish farm inspection, fish feeding, fish harvesting, fish farm maintenance, HR and uh, admin staff, as well as accounts. So last time, people are more towards fishing. And then, of course, now we all know the, about sustainability. So we have to move towards farming, which is aquaculture. The common misconception is uh, that people think that um, farm fish tastes poorer than those wild-caught fish. But for us, um, we, are, we are farming in the sea with um, very good water flow and water exchange. That's why our fish are very fresh, so we'll produce uh, better quality fishes, which taste good. Uh. Hello! Hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Senior. I'm Marcus. Uh, I'm the management here on the sea farm. Today, we'll be challenged to three tasks. Fish farm inspection, fish feeding, and then fish harvesting. Okay, I think you have to be a bit patient with me because uh, I don't really know whatever you just said, but I will try my best. Okay, yeah. so this is the uniform for you. Okay, yeah. let's go! <laughs> so actually, uh, Prime Alcohol Sea Farm, we have uh, 199 net pages. I need to inspect 199. Right. <laughs> we have a uh, total of nine uh, fish types on the I farm. guess. Comfort. Yeah, comfort. Comfort. Uh, catfish. Smart fish. Tongue fish. What, what else can you eat? Uh? Red snapper. Yeah. That's grouper. Two, three. Uh, grouper, we have two kinds. So the one you see here is actually hybrid grouper. And then, hybrid yeah, grouper? Another one is orange spotted grouper. And wow. then we have uh, golden snapper. Oh, that golden traveli. Oh, that one I don't know. Sea bass. I never know. Fin. Or track fin. Oh, I also know, I also know. Oh, wow. So this is the monitoring room in front. Oh, yeah. on the screen. So you can see 199 of them on the screen. So you legit, every single the net got yeah. one GoPro. Correct, so we have 199 in total. Traditionally, we can only observe um, fishes. From um, like above from water. Above water, yeah. Oh. So now we have it, we can observe underwater. Ah. Yeah, the fish condition and then the net. The nets as well. Very high tech eh. So now that we have finished the tour, uh, I'll show you what to look out for Plus one. Okay. So what we see here is the net cage in uh, pristine condition. And then over there, it's uh, a challenge that we have set up for you. So you have to spot the mistakes in that net. So for the first challenge, uh, fish farm inspection, the first one we have to look out for is automated feeder. So oh. the feeder have to face the net net cage. Secondly, we have to make sure that the rope is not obstruct okay. for safety purposes. And then thirdly, we have to ensure that um, there's no sea rubbish inside the net. Okay. That's all? Yeah. Easy lah. Let's start. Uh, sorry, please don't obstruct the road. Thank you. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Challenge one. Ding, ding, ding. Ah, this one. Why is it here? Why? Very easy leh. Y'all ca cannot do me like this. Eh. Y'all put one rubber ducky there, you think? I don't know. <laughs> Seriously leh, so easy. Come on guys. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ta-da! I think I'm done. So is that all you spotted? Is that not all? Do you want to take a look at the pristine condition versus this net to see the difference. The, the net push here, correct? Do you know why we do that? 
the fishes can bond because it's a smaller space. <laughs> a good try. <laughs> but then the reason for that is you can see you can see the floating barrels that are under the walkway. We shift it to create a distance so that the net don't rub against the barrel. Once the net has a broken hole, um, the fishes will actually escape out. So is this the trick question? Yes, it's a trick <laughs> question. I knew it, like, I knew it. It's either your height, like some mini duck or something. You never even look at the reference. <laughs> because I confident. Ma. For challenge number two, which is fish feeding, mm. I'll be teaching you how to feed the fish. Different fish sizes, they eat different fish uh, palate. For mm. different fishes, they feed differently as well. So uh, we will take note on certain things and then we will compete against each other to see which uh, who feed faster. Ay, never tell me today never warm up, but let's go lah! <laughs> yeah, so, um, this net over here is the sea bass. We have to um, ensure that we spread the feed wide enough so that um, to prevent fish from snatching. We make sure that we don't uh, feed too slowly and also not too quickly. Too oh. quickly, um, the, the feed will just go to waste. They will just sink to the bottom. And then too slowly, then um, you'll be wasting your time. <laughs> yeah, so it's like an outward and an upward motion, so... Wow! It's very intense eh! Sea bass, they are actually um, fast feeders. They are quite aggressive when they feed. For slow feeders, you have to feed. You have to use your hand to spread at a slower rate. You want to try? Oh, I'm very stressed eh. Neither the whole basket go inside how? <laughs> oh, yo, sorry! <laughs> Better, better. They're like not very receptive anymore. Maybe you can try bonding with them. Bonding with them? <laughs> you wanna take a swim? I'm a savage. Yeah. Classy, bougie, ratchet. So you have done enough practice. Are you ready for the challenge? You mean the competition? Yes. Wait ah. Uh, let me think ah. Uh. Uh, I know you got experience. But one thing is... <laughs> I wanted to say one thing that you know about me is I'm not competitive. Let's go! <sighs> yeah. yeah. So here we are at the red snapper nets. They are slow feeder, so we uh, feed slowly. Okay. So are you ready for the challenge? Yes. Ready? Yeah. Set. Go. Go! <laughs> I'm running. Wait, uh, I'm going sideways like a crab. Here, 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 here. Ah! Whoa, my god! Meanwhile... Just nothing eh, just like feeding the fish or enjoying the moment. I'm done with my 12th. Oh, you're done? Yeah, I'm done. done. <laughs> no way! I'm you finished already? Yeah, I'm done. 12 times eh? 12 times, done. What number are we at, right? Four. Look at, look at the floor. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> got so bad man, I need two people to pick up. Oh my god, behind you got a lot, right? <laughs> so, we just finished uh, challenge two. How do you feel after feeding two nets? Good! Good. Imagine doing that for 199 nets. Actually, my arm's sore. <laughs> yeah, that's why, that's why we, we actually we have this automated feeder. Mm. Where we will help us to um, feed the fish on our behalf. Mm. It's shooting out! Damn! Technology! Okay, now that we are done with all the work, is it time for lunch? Yes. Okay, so my order will be like one sea bass. Maybe two trap pin? Six. I'll, I'll, bring you, I'll bring you to the test. Then okay. you place this order. So here we are at the third challenge. We have um, harvesting. We have the inspection and weighing. Then lastly, the packaging. Yeah. So okay. um, for harvesting, typically two men requires about five minutes to fill up one box. So you are challenged to doing that. So so this is about um, the test of speed. Uh. Ah, okay. Yeah, so you are challenged to this. Five minutes, uh, I time. Uh. Three, two, one, go. Oh no, my god. Can I just be the one that closed the cover? Bruh. Two minutes, three seconds. Eh. I don't know whether I can. Eh. Oh no. <laughs> oh, you got no strength, eh? Nail Lee, ah! 
<laughs> it's not that scary because I'm not the one like pulling the rope, you know? So since I won, Marcus wants to challenge me to switch roles. Not scared, 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 not scared. Oh my god! Wow! Wow! Look at this! I feel like I've been through a lot. I'm a fish farmer. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody's complaining for me, you see? You see? Fish hood! Prime! Hey, you turn here? Turn here. Prime aquaculture hood! So right in front of us is the trap fin that we caught just now. During this selection process, we will take out all those that are not uh, for market. This will be in our tummy, while this will be to the market. This dinner tonight? Yeah. After that, we'll, we'll, we'll pack it oh. in the drum. Right. Then we'll send it to the um, wholesale market. Okay, I know this part. I'm experienced. Can you help me put some ice? Some? Okay. <laughs> uh, you need to use that. Oh, you must a lot, is it? Yeah. Hey, wait for me lah. I can, I can do it one. Okay. He's impatient already ah. Marcus impatient already. Let's hurry. <laughs> Don't help me. I can one, you see? I cannot feel my fingers! Wow! Okay. Can I Okay, okay, ready? <sighs> Ten. The first two challenges for fun only. Warm up only. Test, test water only. This is the real deal. So, over at our sea farm, we do the first round of QC. Mm. Then we'll go, we'll send to our HQ. Over there, we have um, the fish grader. Oh. Which is the automated process where you just place the fish and then um, the grader will, will weigh the fish and then they will sort according to different sizes. Oh. Despite having these um, two processes of um, fish selection, mm. we can still reach um, the wholesale market at tonight about 10 to 11 pm. Wow! Yeah, so technically it's less than uh, 24 hours. hours. Yeah, that's the wow. benefit of having uh, um, Singapore farm fish. Right. Yeah. Do you feel like I did okay? Not bad uh, for a beginner. I think uh, you did even better than when I started. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm finally done with my day. I must say, maybe because there aren't any female fish farmers here, I feel like I've been pampered a lot throughout the day. And obviously, I think their job is a lot harder in reality. And I don't know why, eh, somehow when I think of fish farmers, I would picture an old school, pretty rundown K-Long. But this is completely turned up for productivity and efficiency. It's super high-tech and the working environment is so conducive. I think what's super cool about this job is it's not just a job, eh? it's a way of living. Most of us, we work 9 to 5, we have social life and stuff. But for them, they live 24-7 here, away from the city. I would never have guessed being a fish farmer in Singapore would require that much commitment. And that I really respect. So I'm done. I threw away my image for you today. So how well do you think I did? So for inspection, you are very uh, detailed. Uh. And then you you listen attentively during the lesson. That's why you tell me more. That's why that's why, that's why you did great for, for the first task. For second task, which is the fish feeding, you have to uh, work more on how to effectively um, spread your fish feed, especially on the wastage part. We are very towards supplying affordable fish to our local markets. Yeah. Mm. So that's why we have to we have to manage all of our costs. That's why we have to do um, feed just enough, not <laughs> and not the floor or the sea. <laughs> I yeah. know, like every single step counts, mm. right? Yeah, correct. Okay, third task. Eh? Third task was the fish harvesting part. Right? I really give it my all, uh. <laughs> It's really a, speed, a test of speed, uh, cause we want to keep the cold chain short. For that part, you did great. Uh. You were even faster than me in the harvesting part. Yeah. Would you have thought like this is how I would have performed today? Uh, no, that that's really like uh, you. You legit, you just do like uh, hands on a lot. Good. Well, I'm feeling good. As straight away, ask the question. Uh, would you hire or fire me? Go. <laughs> I really see your your passion for this 
work uh, and then mm. you're really hardworking, very willing to learn. Mm. Yeah. If I have the heart to do it right, I think these kind of things with time I can pick up. One thing that I really like is seeing how you guys work as a team. How you guys spend every other day here together. You're very familiar with each other and that is something so precious. Yeah. yeah. Okay, like, since I'm higher, where to shower? I got a lot of fish scales on my hair, on my scalp, you know? Where's my room? Okay, uh, let's go then. Yeah, oh, okay, let's go. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of Hire or Fired. If you are keen to join the farming industry and contribute to Singapore's food security, check out the description box below to find out more about Skills Future Aquaculture and Urban Agriculture programs. If you like this video, remember to like, share, subscribe, ring our notification bell, and watch our other videos over there. Bloop, bloop. <laughs> Bye.